Hey YouTube, Longboys Post 1975. I'm going to do a Christmas video. Now you're probably thinking, dude, it's the end of November, it's too soon to do a Christmas video. Well, I absolutely freaking love Christmas. Have done ever since I was a kid. I've never grown out of it. It's my favourite time of the year. Hell, I've been watching Christmas movies since the end of October. I've watched so many versions of A Christmas Carol. I've watched the 1908 silent version, the 1910 silent version, the 1938 version, which I think was the first time it had audio. Really interesting version of that. It's only like an hour long, and they properly mix up the facts and change things around, but still a really good version. I've watched the 1984 TV movie Christmas Carol starring George C. Scott. I've watched the 1951 Scrooge starring Alistair Sim. I've also watched the cartoon version of it that was made in 1971 that Alistair Sim reprised the, the voice acting for. That's an absolutely brilliant version. The visuals in that are absolutely amazing. I really, really recommend you see that. I've watched the really dodgy, I say dodgy, it's out of no shit, 2004 musical version with Kelsey Grammer, but what the hell, it's a Christmas movie, I had to watch it. I've watched the amazing uh, Patrick Stewart 1999 made for TV version which is absolutely brilliant. Uh, I think it's probably going to be one of my favourite versions of it for sure. I watched the dodgy animated 2001 Christmas Carol the movie. What a silly name. Um, Kate Winslet, Nicholas Cage and Michael Gambon do the voices in that. I've watched Bob Zemeckis brilliant 2009 version, you know the computer graphic one with Jim Carrey doing the voice work. That's a really really good version of, my, uh, of it as well, one of my favourites for sure. I watched um, last night, I watched the Doctor Who Christmas Carol Christmas special from last year. Is that it? Oh, and I'm saving Muppets Christmas Carol for Christmas Eve, because that is without a doubt my favourite version of Christmas Carol. Oh, and I, I watched Bill Murray's Scrooge, because you know it is Christmas Carol, and that's an absolutely fantastic movie, and one of my favourite Bill Murray movies of all time. A couple of honourable mentions, I watched uh, Santa Claus the movie. I watched Gremlins, I do consider Gremlins a Christmas movie, I watched uh, Die Hard 2, I also consider Die Hard 2 a Christmas movie, I watched The Animated Grinch with Boris Karloff, I watched the uh, Jim Carrey Grinch, it's not as bad as people say, you know, give it a chance, uh, I watched Miracle on 34th Street, the original, not the remake, I think that's pretty much it, oh and I watched National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, which is my favourite Christmas movie of all time, oh and I also watched It's a Wonderful Life. Now I know it's pretty much everyone says it's the best Christmas movie of all time and it's a very very good movie and I'm probably going to get heat for saying this but I just find it quite shouty like just lots of yelling but that's just me you know don't be hating on me for you know I, I still think it's an absolutely fantastic movie pretty much think oh there's no way I'm going to remember half the stuff I've watched put it this way I've watched a shit ton of Christmas stuff I've watched so much Christmas stuff if I go and take a shit a your title log no pun intended will come out so I want to know what is your favorite video game related Christmas or video game related Christmas memory you know and by that I mean a Christmas from your childhood that you have such fond memories of because you got a game or a system or you went over someone's house and they had a system you know just you know or, or you got a big fat pile of computer books or whatever you know um, like even if it's program stuff like that, I just want to know what's your favorite video game related Christmas memory and uh, I'm going to share mine with you. Now, my favourite Christmas, video game wise, is 1988. Up until that point, we had a family computer in this house. We had a Spectrum. We also had a Spectrum Plus 3 at this point. And I remember seeing the adverts on TV for the Sega Master System, and it blew me away. I mean, the NES was around at this time. It wasn't really big, and I, I just wasn't interested in it. I just, I don't know. I've always been a Sega boy. And I wanted a Master System. So I saved all my money up. Well, as much as I could, and because uh, I think there were three packs at the time. There was the basic pack, there was the one that came with a light gun, and there was the one that came with a light gun and the 3D glasses. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure. It wasn't like the basic pack was something like £129 or something, you know, it was pretty, pretty pricey. Because it'd been out for a, a year and a half, maybe two years at this point, and obviously the Mega Drive was coming to its time, so you know, this was the Sega console at the moment. So, you know, it was pretty much very pricey and there was no way I was going to get one of those for Christmas. So I had two part time jobs at the time. I washed up in a pub on a Sunday lunchtime and I worked for my dad in his garage on a Saturday morning. So you know I had cash, not much, so I saved and I saved and I saved and um I remember I still you know I was way way short and th there was no way my mum was gonna buy me one outright for Christmas because like I said that's just a lot of money, especially back then. But by sheer luck, I was combing the ads in the black and white because in the newspaper we always got in those days, there was always a really small computer section right at the back in the black and whites. Literally, like 
that like a column I remember checking it every day religiously on the off chance that a master system would show up and one did a boxed second hand one he says box it's, you know this thing's 1998 you'd hope it was boxed if you buy it second hand then and I think they wanted 90 pounds for it and it was just down the road it was 25 minutes down the road on a place called Western Supermare so I told my mum about it and she basically said if I paid half she would pay the other half and I could have it for Christmas and I just shat my pants because I had exactly you know pretty much half the money needed so I remember phoning them up and um, basically saying oh yeah I want it I want it I want it I want it but I can't get there till tomorrow can you please hold it can you please hold it and they said they would hold it so you know couldn't sleep next day oh by the way just to make this story relevant it's currently October in this timeline in this story so the next day we drove there with my well we drove there my mum drove there you know because I'm 11 or something and I just remember when you're a kid you're so impatient and you just don't trust you know word of mouth from anyone I'm just thinking it's going to be gone it's going to be gone it's going to be gone someone else is showing up and they've just sold it you know this is just a wasted trip even though my mum had actually phoned when I didn't know this to obviously to confirm beforehand because she ain't driving you know 20 miles down the road or whatever just to turn up at a door and someone's already sold the thing but you know as a kid you're like oh it'll be gone it'll be gone it'll definitely be gone you know they're almost talking myself down to pretty much where I was almost in a bad mood like oh, this is just such a waste of time funny thing is yeah I can still pretty much remember where this house is you know that's what it, like how psyched I was you know to get my hands on one of these and I remember we got there you know we went in and uh, it, it, this, there was this kid and he was selling it and there was his mum irony is and he said this to me but it never really sunk in at the time he was selling it for um, a PC engine or he wanted to raise the funds for a PC engine but I didn't even know what that was at this point you know this is literally a year or so before I became console hungry you know but I was like why you're crazy why would you want a whatever I don't even know what it is but you're an idiot you shouldn't have it you should keep this actually no you shouldn't keep this because I want to buy this so I bought it and it came with um, that stupid snail maze game that's was built in at the time. You know, if you turned it on without a game and you've got that shit snail maze game, came with hang on on a uh, on the card. I want to say I'm um, Hugh card, but I'm pretty sure it's not. And it came with Afterburner and Wonder Boy, the original Wonder Boy. You know, like the monster, uh, like the not the Monster Island one. You know, the one that's Hudson Soft make a rip off of it. You know, I can't think of the name. You know, the one it's Super Adventure Island, but you know, obviously the original version, the Sega version. And I remember just sat in the car, driving back to where we live with this big fat box on my lap and just doing what you did as a kid, just reading the exact same text over and over again, you know. There wasn't even that much text on it, but just like, flip, side, bottom, other side, top. Just doing it again and again and again. And the funny thing is, I still remember my mum saying this to me. She's saying, you know you can't have it to Christmas. You know, you know you can't have it to Christmas. Which is obviously two months away at this point. And I'm like, oh no, 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 I can't wait to Christmas. I need to play this now. I need to play this now. And I came up with the best line ever. So I said, you know, mum, we should probably test this work. She never tested anything like that back in the day. You know, we're not the, like, computer techie savvy people we are now, you know, then so I said you know what when we should probably test this because if I get on Christmas Day and this doesn't work then what am I gonna do she goes alright well you can you can take it out of the box and you can plug it all in and make sure it works when we get home so when we got home I got out of the box I made sure it all worked and I managed to make it an extended test that lasted for two days you're probably saying you're gonna ruin your Christmas present I just couldn't help it because you gotta remember up to this point when I'd been in arcade game, uh, arcades you know playing those machines I'd only played the spectrum so I managed to make it an extended test for two days and it blew my head off you know I was just like just the colours and the, and the sound which is technically now thinking back is shit but yeah and I, I couldn't get over it like Wonder Boy was fantastic Afterburner on the on the on the Amstrad Afterburner on the Master System believe it or not it is a really really good looking game I mean it, that was just like holy cow this thing's amazing it looks just like the arcade it doesn't you know remember the uh, remember we always used to say things look arcade perfect on the Mega Drive I was chucking that phrase around on the Master System Hell, I even thought Hang On was amazing. I even liked the snail maze game, you know, that's how much it blew me away. So anyway, it got put away now, it got put away for Christmas. And that was like the longest wait of my life. And I just remember Christmas Day 1988, even though I played it for two days, even though I knew what was coming, you know, even though it was wrapped up under the tree, I just, I was, I couldn't sleep the night before. I was absolutely, oh, you know, I've got to 
I've got to get my Master System on the go. And it, yeah, Christmas Day 1988 was just epic. I sat there playing it in my room all day. Both my brothers would come in and say, Wow, that's amazing, that looks awesome, can we have a go, can we have a go? And I'd just go, go and play with the Spectrum. This is my beast. And yeah, I think I played it to about half past three in the morning, Boxing Day. It just it hooked me, absolutely hooked me. That was just... Because there's been other Christmases, but there's never been another Christmas in my life to this day where I've got a video game console because I've always bought them during the year so this was just amazing because I really wanted it and it was my first system that I didn't have to share with anyone you know that none of my mates had as well because they were on 8-bit computers like Commodore Spectrums uh, and Amstrad's they, this was mine, my first system and it was amazing and I absolutely love it and just such fond memories just such good memories that is my favorite Christmas related video game memory ever so there you go, that is my favourite video game related Christmas of all time, to this day, 1988, got my Sega Master System. As always, I've waffled on for a massive amount of time, drifted away from the point so many times, but hey, it's me, what do you expect? So, I don't know, leave a comment, I'd love to know what your favourite Christmas related video game memories are, or favourite video game Christmases are, you know, I just think everyone's got a story of some sort about this, so yeah, leave a comment and I'll see you later.